Hey, GED students, it's GED question of the day time, and yay, I'm excited. We are plop in the middle of algebra, finally. So today's question says, solve the equation for M. A lot of students don't know what the word solve means, and it doesn't help that um, a lot of math teachers don't even use this word right. So careful. Um, solve and simplify are two very different math concepts. Solve uh, means basically to find out what value of the variable makes the equation true. So to find out what number m would have to be in this case in order to make this true. And the way we solve um, in algebra is great. We do what's called isolate the variable. Get the letter alone. Now this is a very wonderful type of equation we're gonna be solving today. Um, it is known as a proportion problem. So a proportion problem is when I have one fraction, and you can see that's what I have, set equal or equivalent to another fraction. That is known as a proportion problem. And I love proportions because there's a very nifty rule about proportions, which basically says cross products are equivalent. And I won't prove it in this video. I have a full length class video where I do prove that cross products are equivalent. So you could believe me, but this is the shortcut thing that math teachers use. Um, some of you guys have just heard it called cross multiply. So careful, we don't cross multiply when we see a time sign in the middle of two fractions. We cross multiply when we see an equal sign. So fraction equals fraction. So here we go. I'm gonna start by cross multiplying. I will take the numerator of one of my fractions and multiply it by the denominator of the other in kind of a crisscross pattern. And it actually doesn't matter which one you start with, but I like to start with the one with the letter. So three times M is just three M. When we wanna to multiply together a number and a variable in math class, we do that by just shoving them up next to each other. Now that's a cross product. I said cross products are equivalent, meaning they're equal. So I'm gonna put an equal sign here and I'm gonna find the other cross product the other numerator times the denominator. So two times 15 would be 30. And now this is super wonderful because it turned what was pretty a pretty ugly equation involving fractions into a very simple little one-step equation. 3m is equal to 30, or three times what number is equal to 30? In order to solve this, to get that letter alone, I am going to have to get rid of a three. You can see M is not alone on his side of the equal sign. There's a three hanging out with him. So we get rid of things in algebra by doing the opposite. That three and that M are shoved together because we multiplied them. The opposite of multiplying is dividing. So I will now get rid of the three by dividing. The rule of solving, you know, I can do whatever I want as long as I do it to both sides. So I'm going to keep my equation balanced by also dividing the other side by three. On the left hand side, multiplying and dividing by three cancel. So my M is alone just like I wanted. M is alone. Man, I'm going to have to write it over here. Sorry guys. M is alone. And on this side, there's the math to do. 30 divided by three is 10. And so I find out what number would make this equation true, why it'd be 10. Now, this is not the only way to solve this problem. This is the very mathy way to solve this problem using proportions. It's the algebraic way. If you thought of another way, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Um, because I can think of at least three or four uh, good fun ways to tackle a problem like this. Great. If you have any questions about this or any other GED math topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.